Today I'm going to show you how I took my tired looking coffee table and updated it with some antique photocopied topo maps. I started off by using a paper cutter to do all of my outside edges so I had a nice clean line. You can also sand off the excess but it's not going to be as crisp. The inside edges I ripped so that it adhere really well to the top of the table. Then went over it all with Mod Podge and a brayer. After it had dried, I found I had some bubbles. So I cut into the bubbles, added some more Mod Podge to really make sure it was nice and flat. Moved it all down to the basement. I used a two-part epoxy. Whatever brand you use, you're going to want to make sure you follow the instructions very closely. Um, they all have different mixing times and you're going to need a few clean containers. So you're going to want to pick those up at the hardware store before you leave. I just started dumping it down in the middle, then I worked it around to the edges. I used a disposable paint stirring stick. You can use anything, but I found the paint stirrer worked pretty well. It covered a good surface area, and I can just throw it away when I'm done. I don't have to bother cleaning anything up, so that was easier. You're going to want to make sure you wear a good pair of gloves and you have down some kind of a tarp, because using this technique, it's going to drip onto the floor, and, and um, once this starts to cure, it's going to be very hard to clean up. You can put down cardboard, but they don't recommend doing that because it can leak through the cardboard and onto the floor. I just spread it over to the edges. You're going to want to make sure that your top is nice and level because this will self-level and it, you don't want it pooling up on one end. After I had the top done, I went around the edges and I kind of smoothed those out so that I didn't have any drips. This will save me having to sand it later. I did do a second coat. If you do a second coat you need to wait four hours but you need to do it before the 72 hour mark otherwise you're going to need to sand between coats this may vary from one product to the next but this was the case with what i was using i then went over it with this plumber's torch this helps all the bubbles to come to the surface i have skipped this step before but i found it made a big difference because i didn't have a single bubble when this cured you can also use a heat gun for this now I'm just going to let it sit down here for 72 hours before I install it back in the living room on the coffee table base. So here it is after it's fully cured. As you can see, the maps really pop under the epoxy and the blues really come through, which is great because I have chill accents in my living room. I'm super happy with how this table came out. Whenever I have company, it's always a topic of conversation. I hope you give a project like this a try. You won't be disappointed. Please, if you enjoyed this video, take a moment to hit the like button at the bottom of the screen. And if you like videos like this, you may want to subscribe.